Hello, this is Lisa Greenlee from Casa de Greenlee Art. Um, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I was going through my craft closet and found a few of these frames. I've already done one and I swear I had a picture of it and now I can't find it um, that I practice on and it actually came out really pretty. So I think I'm going to go ahead and paint this one um, and then go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Joann's and try to find more like this. I can't remember where I bought it, bought it years ago. So um, yeah, I hopefully I can find some more because it did come out really pretty. Um, I am going to be using a base of a very pale um, purple color and it's by Atelier and I'll put it in the description box. I don't have the tube on me. Um, then I'm going to use Dioxanine Purple by Liquitex. Brilliant Purple by Liquitex, Iridescent White by Liquitex, Metallic Purple by Artist Loft, Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam, and Blue Violet Flash by Folk Art Color Shift. Who knows, this may be a little bit too much paint, but we will try it out. That's enough to cover. Get those pesky little bubbles pop. Why are you acting up now? I just filled you. Because there's not a whole lot of space, I just kind of do a random chaos swirls and blow it all together. Do a little bit more of this one. The Brilliant Purple by Liquitex. Iridescent White by Liquitex. Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. I'll go in the other direction this time. And top it off, Blue Violet Flash by Folk Art Color Shift. These paints are really cool. Um, I've done paintings with just the whole line of these and it came out really neat. So I do like mixing these in. These you kind of want to put on the top so you get a majority of it to do the color shift. Look at those cells popping out. Oh, that's just amazing. Oh, that's gonna look really pretty. Trying to decide if I wanna leave this little white section here or put a little bit more color and color that in. Hmm. 
kind of just want to leave it. I found when I started doing um, the Dutch pour painting that I really dislike negative space. So I always have a really hard time leaving it in a painting, um, but I'm trying to do it more often now. So I think I will, gosh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Let's just do that. I'm going to leave a little bit of negative space. And these cells are just coming out really great. I'm going to take you off of the um, arm here and do a little close up so you can see the cells popping up. Look at these cells developing. And that's the metallic white, the metallic purple, and that color shift paint doing that. Let me put the flash on. Well, I'll do the flash after I do this. Apparently I can't turn it on in the middle of a video. Those cells are just gorgeous. All right, let me get the flash on. Okay, now you can kind of see the shimmer going on in there. See that color flash right there? Flashing a little bit gold. And there it is again. There it is on the corner. Now, as you do your painting, as it sits and starts to dry, more cells will pop up. Use the torch, oh, there's that color shift again. Use the torch to um, start the process, but as it dries, it kind of develops. Alrighty. I will show you the finished product when it's dry. Okay, here is the frame dry. Let me go in for a close up. And this is funny. I'm gonna show it to you with, with the flash on, but the flash causes some of the purples to go blue. So I will turn the flash off, but I wanted you to see the the shimmer in it and that color shift paint. I don't know why the flash turns purples blue. Let me turn the flash off and do this again. Okay, I've got one of my studio lights on so you can kind of see the shimmer still. But look at the difference. It's now purple instead of blue. So strange. Thank you so much for watching. Please um, like the video if you enjoyed it, um, subscribe, and turn on the bell.